finally got the PSA dagger on the reins. Uh, I just got this not too long ago. It's supposed to be like a first shots video. Now I already shot this one time. I came to the range and shot this the other day, but I just felt like I ain't have enough rounds to do it. Yeah, and I just wanted to shoot it one more time before I do my first shots on it. So today is gonna be technically second shots, but I'm just gonna call it the first shots. One mag first. Let's see. Hopefully I don't shoot as bad as you. Why are you scared? I thought, because that's the little thing you added on to the front, is it? No. Oh, okay. You're scary. Bro, why all of them was hitting me? Because I'm a beast, nigga. I said hitting me. Oh. Uh, <laughs> say I'm a beast. I can't really see, but I'm going to give y'all a little close. As y'all can see, I got the um, rearward, the damn, you know what you know what I mean. Can't take a red dot, obviously the barrel's threaded. This is a Glock 19 size frame. Um, obviously this got the, um, what is it called? The damn lightning cuts or whatever it's called. Front serrations, I mean, rear serrations and front serrations. Um, can take a suppressor or a compensator, something like that. It's possibly a Gen, Gen 3 Glock 19 clone. It's got the, um, hinge trigger safety or whatever. So, yeah, I think that's everything. Oh, I like these finger grooves, honestly. And this little lip right here. Uh, this right here is not a problem so far, but a lot of people complain about it. I actually like this um safety. I mean, not the safety, the uh, what? the damn mag release better. And these are actually metal, I think, and that is so much better. This gun is so much easier to take down than a regular Glock because they're on a the Glock they like plastic polymer or whatever. So I be using this right here as a um like a charging handle. It's your knife. All right. So, um, Oh yeah, and the sights. Let's look at the sights real quick. Right here, that shit just like slick and appears like serrated. And obviously, there's a pressure height sights. Alright. We're gonna do a build drill. So. Oh. I missed two. That's a three, five, four. I'm gonna try it one more time. Three zero five all hits. Try one more time. <laughs> Fuck. I missed one. Two nine four though. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, I feel like I really shoot this better than really anything. Simply because of this all this down here is just a lot better for my hands. The uh my five oh nine compact is too small and my Glock uh, 19X is too long, so I feel like it's just perfect for me. I feel like I need a Glock 19. That's why eventually I'm trying to get a Shadow Systems. So, yeah. But right now we're about to do a two, two reload, two, two on three different targets. And that last build drill was 294. All right, let's go. Oh, you stupid. Wasn't Start over. Damn, I fucked that up. Fuck that up. What was that? That was seven shots. Seven oh four. That's bad. We're gonna fix that though. Oh, it's a lizard back there. Really? Yeah. Shoot him. That you shot him? He running. Damn, his ass is hiding. Stop, He must die. Sorry. My intrusive thoughts. He got away. I let him live. Oh, I missed again. Let's see. That was 593. Oh, last time. Oh, 
$5.97. Oh! Oh, I forgot to press the sword. Ah. Alright, that's the end of this video. We're just gonna finish this video on a lovely mag dump with this lovely gun. It's hot. Alright, let's go. How many I got in here? Like six, 17. Let's see how long it take me to get 17 shots off. Hit you? Yeah. It'd be alright. That's not counting nine. Is that nine? Ah, I, like more than that. I thought it was two. Alright, what is that, y'all, man? As y'all can see, we're back at the house with this video, man. We're about to finish this review in the house. So, I'm gonna go back over everything about this and then. Yeah, this is gonna be the end of this video. So, yeah, we're gonna run back over everything real quick. So. Chamber to 9 mil if you've been living under a rock. Obviously, a Gen 3 Glock 19 clone. You can put a red dot on here. As I said in the video, this is just smooth. This is serrated. Threaded barrel, obviously, with the thread protector on there. Um, obviously, it has a Picatinny rail. This texture, I like this better. This is the best texture I've felt on a gun so far. It's not bad. I mean, it's not too harsh, and it's not, not harsh enough. These finger grooves, I really like it. It's really good. I like this. It just fits my hand perfectly. It just fits me perfectly, personally. And then, of course, we got the lightning cuts. Um, what else? Um, like I said, the um, hinge trigger safety, like on the FN 509, instead of the Glock. Trigger safety. Now, as y'all can see, that trigger is... A $300 gun trigger. Um, but I run it perfectly fine personally. Um, as I already pointed out, the Gen 3 um, mag release. Um, let's see, the beaver tail is really nice. Um, this does not flip, fit Glock holsters. Um, what else? Let's see. As this right here, I guess for like ripping out a magazine that gets stuck. I've had that happen to me before, not with this gun. Um, these trigger pins are, I said trigger pins. These takedown pins, I think are metal, which is a huge upgrade in my opinion. It's so much easier to use. Like on my Glock, they got scratched off because they're polymer or plastic or whatever. But on here, they're still there because obviously they're metal. Um, indicator chamber if it's if the round is chambered um i've heard about the trigger pin walking up but i haven't had that issue i think it's this pin right here i haven't had that issue yet so we'll see we're on the thousand round review of this we will see if that happens um it is pretty heavy in my opinion but it's not like oh my gosh you know a brick or whatever but it has a little weight to it um another I want to add on is someone said it wobbles and this is a Glock mag this is the mag that I use because I didn't get P mags with mine because I told y'all I ordered a deal and I'm gonna show the deal on the screen right now so my slide came in this box and it was just the slide the optics plate and the screws for it and the tool for it and the lowers came in just a bubble wrap and it was just by itself. So you're not gonna get any P-Mags, which I haven't heard anything good about anyway. Stay tuned though, I'm gonna do a review on these, but let's see if this one wobbles. Okay, that wobbles too. Pretty sure any mag you put in here is gonna wobble. So that's just another side note. Now, in my personal opinion, I said, oh, okay, that really doesn't matter, I don't care. But it may matter because I don't know. Maybe to just wear down on something in there you know, over time, I don't know. It's totally up to you, I don't really care. But uh, just something to put out there. Now my, uh, I think we went over everything. So my final thoughts on this is I love it so much. Like I say buy one, I recommend you buy one. They have a great deal going on right now on PSA. So y'all better hop in there and get on that deal. Cause that, that's what I got, I got the deal. And they have an even better deal than what I got this with. Um, I think you get like, Maybe save 10, 10 or $20 than I did. But man, let me tell you, I love it. Yeah, these serrations are 
pretty functional. I don't know. These, these front ones are kind of, I don't know. The rear ones are great, though. So, yeah, that's that, man. I'll show y'all the inside. This is what the inside look like. Uh, it's a little different. Yeah. All right, so yeah, man. Yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do me a favor, and scan that QR code right there. Scan that, man. Uh, we out.